In preparation for breeding season, there are a few things you must do. Deworm, delouse, and trim the hoofs of the animals. We're gonna cut cham snails. You have to keep this boy healthy, you know, because when you're ready to mating season is just around the corner, starting in April. We want to get him in condition. Now, if you can take a look at his hoof right here, you realize that it is overgrown. So we are going to cut off all this excess right here. All right, we're going to do it for all his legs. So let's go. So here we have our clipper. Have on gloves for no real reason. He's really stinky. <laughs> what man to get stick, so I'm using it. All right. He's not a very hygienic boy, you know. The excess bone, all right, or the excess flesh. I don't know what is so tasty about these gloves, <laughs> but all right, so we're clipping off all this excess. And what we realize is that because the feed that they get is not natural, 100% natural. It causes excess growth of the nails. And so you have to ensure, once you're giving your animals grains, you have to ensure that you monitor their nails, cut it very regularly. You know, every two months is good, is a good, good run. You know? Make sure that they are nice and flat. Because we don't want what we don't want to happen is his feet twisting and then he can't walk. Alright? We have to keep our stud in tip top shape. In places where that can't get, I have my three star here. Never fail. Very sharp. And I'm going to use it to peel the excess skin. Now, how do you know when to stop? You peel it until it's left, all right? Once you start seeing blood, then you know automatically you've gone too far. It's just like cutting your toenail, all right? You want to get rid of all the excess, all the excess nails, all right? Trim them up very nicely. Come on, I love you something, man. He's going to start getting unruly now, you know, because he doesn't like to be in bondage for yeah, too long.
Now, this is not the ideal tool to use. They actually have the tools to do it. To do it, but we don't have it, so we are improvising. All right. So with the boar, you notice that they grow a lot of skin under here, right here. So you try to level it down. It might look away when you're cutting it like, oh my god, I'm cutting the goat's flesh. But it's not flesh. It is bone. It's the bone for the hoof. It's kind of soft, spongy material. This kind of material on the goat's hoof allows the goat to be able to climb. Because it's, 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 it's like anti-slippery. Just hit the match with the 